I'm here to make the case that smartphone use is not the enemy of education and that we need to stop treating it that way. Why does this point of view matter? Well, it's because there's a strongly held belief in many school districts that phone use causes distraction and disruption. Over 70% of teachers in a recent poll indicated that relaxing smartphone use has caused issues in their classroom. Now, I'll be the first to admit that certain less academically related mobile activities, like the use of Snapchat and Instagram, have gained a lot of traction with my age group. But I'd also make the case that used correctly, mobile is an incredible tool that has way more upside than downside in terms of impacting education. Allow me to share my own point of view as a rising junior in high school. My generation has never known a world without smart boards in the classroom, online access to awesome resources like Khan Academy, and smartphones. I remember as a kindergartner how my teachers used smart board videos to help bring subjects to life for us. It was amazing. I've also seen how mobile-centric my generation has become, with some studies mentioning that we now spend up to nine hours a day on our phones, which is more than a little disturbing. With all the challenges, though, that technology has brought, I need to tell you that I couldn't imagine a world without the heavy dose of technology that shaped how I learn. That's what got me personally engaged in finding out where we could take things next. What will that next big education technology breakthrough be? A huge amount of press has been given to virtual reality as the next big catalyst in education. However, I don't think that's where the world's headed, at least not in the immediate future. I think virtual reality gear is still too expensive, requires massive upfront investment in content, and has some major accessibility issues. I think the opportunity to better leverage the power and availability of smartphones has way more near-term potential in terms of helping schools, students, and their parents. Why? Well, the first reason deals with basic access to information. The digital divide around internet connectivity has been breached, if in a somewhat imperfect manner. Almost 90% of kids now have daily access to a smartphone, and the cell phone bill has replaced other bills as one of the first bills to pay for low-income families. It's that important to them. Also, schools mention that the lack of broadband in the classroom is a major issue impacting them. Indeed, a recent FCC study showed that 41% of schools in the U.S. lack the minimum internet capabilities outlined by the FCC. With the average smartphone now having access speeds close to 7 megabits per second, we need to find ways to leverage that mobile capability to close that 41% school connectivity gap. The second reason deals with accessibility. Easy online access to critical information and curriculum material is really important when addressing the needs of visually and hearing impaired students. They already use their smartphones throughout the day. It's become an incredibly vital tool. Why not find better ways to let them leverage that same mobile platform they already use? The third reason deals with how we interact with technology. The ways we fundamentally access information are changing as I speak. We're going from a world of apps and static web pages to one where you can actually converse with technology. This ability to have a dialogue, ask questions, or initiate actions is called a conversational interface. Statistics would say that more than three quarters of the people in this room already have experience with conversational interfaces through the use of services like Siri, Google Now, and Amazon Alexa. It's a more natural, more intuitive way to interact with technology. So how can these conversational interfaces impact education? Well, let me tell you what I've been working on, Schoolbot. First though, let me tell you how Schoolbot came to be. Personally, I've always had a love of technology, starting with robotics, and then later moving into computer science. Last summer, I wanted to learn a new technology, and by then, I'd already been using Siri for a couple years, and my family had fallen in love with the Amazon Echo. I think we are up to four or five Echo devices in our home at that point. I decided at that point that I was going to dive into the world of bots and conversational interfaces. That's what led me to create Schoolbot, which I'm happy to say, through a combination of lots of junk food and a number of sleepless nights, wound up winning VentureBeat's first international botathon, where we beat over 250 people that were competing from around the globe. So, it's <laughs> So Schoolbot itself is a conversational front end to Google Classroom. For those who aren't familiar with it, Google Classroom is a service over 20 million kids use each day that allows teachers an easy way to post homework, do tests and quizzes, share learning material, and communicate with students. I've been using Google Classroom since its launch, as my school is very quick to embrace it. It's really a useful tool, but it has a more traditional web front end to it. 
I decided to try to create a bot that would be an easy to use conversational interface for things that matter to me, homework, grades, and communication with my fellow classmates and teachers. The fundamental idea behind bots is a shift from a more traditional website-centric world to one where you're able to have a dialogue with a smart conversational bot using the same messaging apps you're already familiar with, like Facebook Messenger. Interacting with Schoolbot is as simple as this. What are my history grades? Do I have any tests this week? Email my bio teacher. Ask my history class who has a copy of the handout. Remind me Thursday to hand in my art project. A simple, straightforward conversational interface. Hopefully that gives you at least some idea of what these next generation mobile education service, services can do. Done right, mobile friendly tools like Schoolbot are really compelling because they're simple to use, accessible wherever you are, don't require any specialized technology, and are able to add immediate value. We need more solutions that a school district can get behind and see progress in a single semester. Mobile has huge under leveraged potential in the education space. We just need to somehow strike a balance that allows the responsible use of smartphones inside and outside the classroom. The impact of any technology is very dependent on speed of adoption. With the smartphone, we have a tool already in the hands of students that can serve as an incredible platform to deliver value today. We need more solutions that a school district can get behind and see progress in a single semester. The smartphone is a great delivery mechanism for education tools that can have that kind of immediate impact. We also need to focus on tools that work well with the existing curriculums already in place in schools without requiring extensive changes to the teaching process. I refer to this as an outside-in approach to education innovation. Let's deliver mobile tools that allow students to develop better learning and planning techniques and improve how they work in cooperation with other students and teachers to succeed. That's how you can deliver immediate impact and maybe why more complex, more expensive technology solutions aren't delivering all that they promised. I believe that mobile-friendly tools like Schoolbot are an important step in the right direction, but only the first step. There's so much more we can do in this space. Let's dream of a world where each student is partnered with their own mobile-friendly, intelligent bot that understands their individual learning style, has access to great content, and is able to act as their own, always available teacher's aid. We're not that far away from making it a reality. It just takes commitment. Now, I know we have to recognize that uncontrolled access to phones during the school day isn't the solution, but we need to work together as students, families, and educators to leverage the full potential that the smartphone represents. We can't continue to view it as the enemy of education. It is one of the most powerful tools available to us to deliver real impact to students and teachers as we move forward. Thank you.